Hello everyone, my name is Luigi Gonzalez and I'm a current medical student at the University of California Irvine School of Medicine and today I'm going to be teaching you guys the basics of surgical knot tying. Surgical knot tying is a very important skill to learn as a medical student, especially if you're trying to pursue a career involving surgery. As a surgeon, you're going to be doing a lot of different kinds of procedures, but most of them involve making an incision, which means closing it up. Other procedures that you'll be doing involve reconnecting blood vessels, nerves, or just closing up wounds in um, internal structures within your body, which also involves suturing and making sure that as you're closing the wound, that the knot is very stable, it's very strong, and it's effective, which means that it's not letting anything leak out. So that's why it's very important to build a strong foundation in the skill of surgical knot tying and suturing in general. When it comes to practicing your knot tying skills, there's a lot of options online that you can find with regards to what supplies and what tools you could use to practice. For example, I have this Suture Doctor board, which contains two strings running parallel from each other, and another set of two strings that you're gonna use to practice your suturing and your knot tying. But if you're trying to save money, another option that you could use is to buy these clips along with these ropes. And I'll make sure the link is down below in case you're interested in purchasing. But for our intents and purposes, which is just learning the basics, these will work just fine. So with that said, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first step, now that you have your clip right here, and then you have the two strings, which I tied just so that you can see a difference in color so that it's easier for you guys to follow along. With regards to the setup, you just find anything that you can clip this onto. For me, my desk has a bar right here. So I'm just going to attach the clip right there. And now that it's on the bar, all I have to do is put the string through it and I'm ready to go ahead and start practice practicing my knot tying. So with that said, let's move on to the first lesson, which is tying a knot with two hands. So this is for the two-handed knot, which requires, as the name suggests, two hands. And with that, the first step is to set up your starting position, which is basically the same as shooting guns. Um, I guess that's the name for it. We can call it shooting guns. So you're holding both strings on both hands with um, three fingers while your pointer finger is popped out and your thumb is also popped out. So for this one, we're gonna lead with our right hand first. So my right hand is right here holding the red knot, the red um, string, and that's what we're going to lead with. So the first step would be to loop this around your pointer finger, and then you're going to form a C. So there's gonna be a lot of repetitive concepts, and this C is one of the important concepts because after you form the C, the main thing that you're gonna do is put the string on the other side in between the C and then close it off. So as you can see right here, the blue string is inside the circle that we formed with our fingers. And basically the red string and the blue string kind of loop around this pointer finger right here. So once that's done, you're going to move your thumb along where your pointer finger is coming from, open it up, grab the end of the blue and put it back through the loop right there and there you have it your first knot so once you push that along you're going to have your first knot in place and then moving on to the second step again you start off with your starting position the shooting guns position and then instead of looping it around your pointer finger this time you're going to loop it around your thumb so as you can see in the first step, we put our pointer finger underneath. This time we're going to put our thumb underneath that way. And then again, make the C, put the blue string on your other hand, the one that's not leading inside, close it. And this time it's going to be your pointer finger that follows your thumb. You're gonna grab it, put it back through that loop, grab it with your other hand and then push down. So those are the two different ways that you can tie knots with the two-handed method and all you have to do is do it on repeat. So I suggest for the next couple of minutes, just spend some time practicing each way and I'll make sure to do a slow motion of each step and describe what each step is supposed to be like just so it's easier for you guys to follow along.
Okay, so now that you guys are pros at tying with the two-handed knot, let's move on to the next step of the basics, which is tying a one-handed knot. In this scenario, as the name suggests, you're only going to be tying with one hand because sometimes there's going to be a clamp attached to one end of the suture, which means that you only have the other end to work with. So for this first case, we're going to be using what I like to call the um, figure four or the C knot. Um, and with that, instead of starting off with the shooting guns, we're going to start off with the C. So the right hand again is going to be the leading um, knot tying hand, while the left hand, which is attached to the blue string here, is what we're going to say is the one that's attached to a clamp. So we were not gonna be able to use it for tying our knots. So again, we start off with a C right away without moving the string. And we're going to move both our thumb and our pointer finger underneath the string. So if you guys take a look at my right hand right here, my three fingers, pinky, ring finger, and middle finger are still holding onto the string, while my thumb and my pointer finger are still attached um, underneath the string. And then the next step is to move it where um, the space in between my thumb and my um, pointer finger, cross it over with the other string. And now this is where it gets pretty complicated because you're only able to move your right hand. So you're basically going to use your pointer finger to grab the string underneath the thumb so that you can pull it in onto the other side just like that. And with that, you tied the knot using the figure four or the C method. Okay, and the last step for the one-handed knot tying, again, the left hand right here holding the blue string is the one that's going to be attached to a clamp. And then we only have our right hand to work with. So since we already did the C method, we're going to have to do an alternating knot because we can't just keep doing the same knot over and over again. So with this other um, knot that we're going to tie, I like to call it the karate chop. And with it, we're gonna have a different starting position. Instead of having these three fingers holding the string, we're going to hold it with just our thumb and our pointer finger. And then with our other three fingers, we're going to do a karate chop on the string. So as you can see right here, holding it with our thumb and pointer finger, the other three fingers are free. And then we're gonna karate chop over it. So as you can see the string is wrapped around my three fingers. And then we're going to bring it closer to the other string that's attached to the clamp and it looks like there's um, a circle forming there. So now our main goal is to grab the string that we're holding onto with our thumb and our pointer finger and use our middle finger to grab that and bring it into that circle. So this requires a lot of dextrosity with your fingers, but once you get it in, then you're done tying that second knot. And from then on, you're just going to be switching and alternating from the C the C uh, knot tying method, and then the karate chop method where you use your middle finger to bring it through the loop. So you're just going to be alternating with that and there you have it. Now you guys are able to master both the two-handed knot tying method and the one-handed knot tying method.